Hey folks, JD here and today we are looking at this. This is the JJRC Elfie Plus. Now this is the upgraded version of the Elfie that we first looked at six or seven months ago. Also a big thank you to RC Moments for sending us this. You'll find all of their information in the description. Okay, so let's open this up. So what do we got? So inside the box, look at this, we have a rather nice JJRC carry case. Look at that. Let's just take a minute to enjoy that. That really does look nice. So then once we open this up, sorry about the hands, this is what we have. So facing us straight away we have the quadcopter and the transmitter. So let's take everything out. So quadcopter, transmitter, it's a different shape to what we're usually used to, accessory pack, and two batteries. Hang on. Three batteries. We've got one in the quadcopter and two here. Brilliant. This is some good times ahead. And we've also got a nice little charging cable there as well. So let me just move this nice stylish case to one side. And let's start off and have a little look at this quadcopter. Wow, look at this. So this is the upgraded Elfie Plus. So obviously we looked at the Elfie a couple of uh, months ago. I think it was about seven months ago. And the Elfie came in roughly about this size. So as you can see, the size itself has altered. The shape has totally altered as well. Um, now, obviously, if we just have a quick little look over this, it is still a folding quadcopter. Uh, the camera is still at the front, but it looks a lot more professional. This coloration as well just looks really nice. I think they have actually tried to go out and make it look a little bit more professional. There are a couple of little designs, uh, bits either side. These these are just little gouges out of the uh, out of the shell. This is what the quadcopter looks like, totally folded up. Now, if you want, when you want to fly it, obviously you've got to pull out the quadcopter arm. So this is what she's then going to look like. That's quite nice. Not very big either quite a size but the same, yeah they are about the same size as my hand so that in itself isn't too bad as we can see on the propeller arms there are little slits up and down them here these are just to cool the motors encased inside these propeller arms because these motors are going to get very very warm so there's just to let them to breathe a little bit so if we have a little look on the underside this is what we've got so we can see the battery fits here this is a battery release mechanism here. Push that down and then the battery should then be able to be lifted out. Uh, yeah, there we go. So when you put the battery in, you place it in like this and then you push it down. But as you can see, this is where the main connector is and the battery itself doesn't meet. So what you're going to have to do is slide that battery up. Now, as you can see, the gap that was once there is now gone. The connectors are now meeting. So I should hopefully be able to push and hold. And there we go. We got a bit of power. So let's turn off this light. So we've got white LEDs on the front, red LEDs on the back. Now the white LEDs on the front also doubles up as a little light. So you can take, obviously as this quadcopter is meant for selfies, you can take selfies with this camera at the front there. So still looking at the underside of the quadcopter, you can see we've got four um, landing sprigs there. These aren't great, look at them, there's not really that much clearance, but if it stops the plastics from getting cracked, then I suppose they would have done their job. Okay, so let's just unclip that battery there. Looking at the front of the quadcopter, we can see there's a camera. This camera can be angled right the way down. So you're looking at underneath the quadcopter if you wanted to fly over, um, if you wanted to fly over something and then record directly underneath. And obviously then you have various different angles going right the way back through until you get to straight ahead. So that in itself is quite good. You've got quite a, a few different angles to use there. So you should be able to get your shot that you require with that. Right, let's just fold these arms back in. Oh, that's really neat. That really is neat. Okay, so now with that, that, that in itself looks quite good. I'm going to be quite interested to see how it flies because with the first Elfie, there were no, there was nothing but issues. So I'm hoping this one is going to have those issues totally wiped out. So let's move on. This has been the quadcopter. Let's have a little look at the transmitter because this is something else. Look at that. So normally we get a transmitter in the style of a gamepad that fits in your hands roughly like this. This transmitter is totally different. Now this, according to JJRC, this is gravity sensing. So when you hold it in your hand, you control the quadcopter left and right, down and up, 
but also you move your hand and you tilt as to how you want the quadcopter to fly. So when you first start off flying you have to hold your hand totally still and totally flat and then once you've taken off then you can pitch forward, you can go backwards and you can strafe left and right as well and the quadcopter should follow your exact movements. We've also got a couple of buttons down here as well. We've got emergency stop, should you need that one. That's also a very good one to know. That's the bottom button here. To calibrate the joystick, to calibrate the transmitter, you push this button here for two seconds, long press for two seconds. That then, once both of these are on, that should then calibrate, should you have any issues with flying your quadcopter. The button at the back, the big shoulder button, that is your speed button. So from going from low speed into high speed, two speed modes with this, low and high, that's how you get to it here. This is your standard analog stick. Obviously we said that you move your hand as well and this then controls the quadcopter. Um, so you've got the top button here, if I just flick this around to your way, this top button here is headless mode, then you've got calibration, then you've got emergency stop and you've got light control as well so you can alter the lights so I should imagine from a flashing to a more um, solid light should you want to then take selfies in low light situations so this is quite interesting I'd be quite excited to see exactly how this works when we take her out obviously you need to put batteries in it and to put batteries in this it's a little bit fiddly but what you've got to do is you see the side here that's got a little indent out of it you put your finger in there and then you just pull it off a little groove cut out here that's where you put your fingernail and then you just pull the whole case off it's a little bit fiddly but it does, there we are, come off, and that's where you put your two AAA batteries. So you put your two AAA batteries in there. This transmitter does not allow charging, uh, so you do have to use shop port batteries with this. So just beware that you just make sure that your batteries are charged or bought from a shop before you take this guy out, just to avoid disappointment. Okay, so that's the transmitter. Let's look and see what else we've got. So we have a little accessory bag. In the accessory bag, we have four more landing sprigs there that you can just peel off and stick on the underside of the quadcopter four extra propellers as well as a screwdriver as well should you need that for when you come to attach the propellers obviously you already mentioned two extra batteries so i'll be charging both of these up as well it's going to be a long flight this this flight but it's going to be a good one and also we have the charger there as well to charge the batteries now what are these batteries coming in at they are 3.7 volt 500 milliamp hour modular batteries so there's nothing else you can do to them uh, other than just charge them and how you charge them as I'm sure you can see this charger here is circular and there's a little circular hole on the battery just there so all you would do is pop that in and that's exactly how you charge your battery like that so you have to take it off the quad, off the quadcopter. The quadcopter does not have a little uh, does not have a little jack plug, so you have to take the battery out in order to charge. So what exactly do you get in this package? So you get your two batteries plus the one on the quadcopter, so that's three in total. You get the quadcopter, you get your transmitter, and you get your accessory bag, including your little USB charger as well. So as well as also not to forget, and I almost did. Your hard GJRC case as well, which is really a great way to transport this. So then, folks, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. Please join me in the next couple of days when we're going to be taking this guy out and putting it through his paces. So until then, my friends, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.